the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 may have finally been revealed, and I'll be sharing the details right after this, if you new here want stay up to date with the latest tech. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter, and you can purchase any Samsung Galaxy phones or Apple phones by clicking the links in the description. To a week since my last video and we finally have the design of the Samsung Galaxy Fold to being revealed, may not be what everyone expected, but I think it may growing us with time before we get started, though, please like the video. If you looking forward to the Galaxy Fold 2 and if not then let me know in the comments. What you think of this rebel so we have a shot yesterday at one well known and reliably, the universe shared with us, what may be the final design of the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2, it's probably not what you expected for many were quick to try and shut the leak down there is a very good reason for it. It is of course the cameras there, unfortunately, isn't enough space internally to have a camera on the front and the back in the same place in this positioning, does solve that issue. Even I said himself that he thought the positioning was strange hand side menu, also asking the white couldn't be in the top left of the Galaxy Fold 2, this is, of course, a very good question. My only thinking is that maybe it's not a good position for taking selfies when you have the screen fully open. If you think about it, on a normal phone with the selfie camera and the top left or the top right, it is still relatively close to the center was on the Galaxy Fold. It can be far away from the center so may be awkward for taking selfies with we have actually seen this in the past with tablets like Qualities Make Part Pro. I haven't heard anyone complain about that just a bit of a hard situation now is my brain says that it cannot be right. The nice universe is a very reliable leaker is normally very vague. If he doesn't have all the details. So for him to come out and say it like this, and he must be pretty certain he does have a decent track record is only too much longer, until we have this confirmed by Samsung, and as always at some of the leaks, is a can probably chip in, and either agree or disagree is also important to remember that sometimes leaks can be wrong. They can come from an earlier prototype, it was changed over many other reasons. Curve and MasterCard to provide a finance system to link with your bank cards, allow for viewing and analysis of your payments. Given its announcement this morning. It's no doubt can be available on the Galaxy Fold 2 is coming very soon, and as expected, it can be part of an online-only launch event. The event is going to be for the Note 20Z Flip in the Fall 2, and pretty much all leakers are agreeing that it's good to be on 5 August, what were the phones can be launched together. This unfortunately new news. The Galaxy Fold 2 has can face a delay of release the Galaxy Fold 2, what was meant to be available shortly after the official launch in the trailer was released, but it's no longer going to be happening the Galaxy for 2 has not yet reached a final version of its bootloader, so it's just not to be ready in time. It's a software issue. So as far as a release date goes, Samsung did reveal a window for the device in its financial report. The company cited a new foldable coming in the second half of the year. Considering the original Samsung Galaxy Fold launched in the second half of 2019, September 6, 2019, to be specific, it would stand to reason that the follow-up would come around the same time. You might not be able to actually get the phone in August. Young also says that the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 probably won't enter full production until that month, which means it likely wouldn't hit store shelves until September, at the earliest. It may be another situation where Samsung shows us the foldable during a big event, but then tells us we'll be able to actually buy it later. The Galaxy Fold 2 is tipped to drop the large camera notch for a more familiar solution. It's purely speculation at this point, but it's likely Samsung wasn't happy with the unbecoming look of that design. Either way, we can expect to see a punch hole camera in the upcoming phone, which some users might consider an improvement over the original Fold's design. For what it's worth, sometimes reliable leaker ice universe a large internal display that folds and a smaller external display, just like on the original fold. However, it's very possible Samsung could increase the size of the external display, possibly even giving it more normal proportions. Since the main selling point of the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 will be the displays, it's not surprising that a bulk of the leaks we've seen are related to either the internal or external displays. So far, rumors point to the Galaxy Fold 2, possibly having a 6.23-inch screen on the outside, with an impressive 2267x819 resolution. That display is likely to come with us. The most exciting aspect of the internal display is the rumored 120Hz refresh rate. That high refresh rate could really improve the performance of the display, and could end up being one of the device's biggest selling points. Whether for gaming or general usage, a 120Hz display is easily one of the most substantial upgrades a phone screen can get, so the prospect of having it on a screen interestingly, an early report suggested the Galaxy Fold 2 could come with a Snapdragon 855 chipset instead of the new 865. Since Samsung started development on the phone several months ago, it's possible the company didn't have access to the latest chip before it needed to finalize its plans. 
However, it's also possible Samsung could add in the Snapdragon 865 ahead of the official Fold 2 release. Since the phone would practically need to be 5G ready for it to stand with other 2020 flagships, it would make way more sense for the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 to come with a 5G ready chipset rather than attach a 5G modem to last year's processor. We'll need to wait and see, though. Finally, seeing that's well over 7 inches is exciting. Rumors of the Samsung Galaxy Fold 2 price could have buyers feeling a little skittish. According to Ross Young. That means it'll sell within the same range as the original Samsung Galaxy Fold. That high price was one of the Fold's biggest detriments. Buyers just didn't seem to feel comfortable shelling out close to $2,000 for a yet unproven technology. If the Galaxy Fold 2 does end up at the $1,780 price point, that will make it $200 less than the original, which is certainly better, but still more expensive than most flagship phones on the market. It's tough to say in which countries the company will choose to release the Galaxy Fold 2. It's a niche device that doesn't have the same level of appeal as a phone from the Note S line. However, we'd expect the phone to be here that the Galaxy Fold 2, model number SMF916 in particular, is going to feature 256 GB of internal storage. There will be two models of the SMF91X, the other with 512 GB storage. This split will enable Samsung to lower the cost of entry to the Galaxy Fold lineup. With the exceptional response comes to the pricing though we had news early on the Galaxy for 2 should be around $1,800. The news did however come from Ross Young, who has been incorrect a couple of times to be fair, though he was giving leaks very early on two things may have just changed, also with the actual release being delayed by a month. We don't know if this can have any effect on costings for anyone's interest, so we can run through all of the details of the Samsung Galaxy Fold to my regular viewers, you guys have seen this so just get to the next video. If you new had them make sure you hit subscribe to get right into it. One of the largest room is currently floating around the web. The Galaxy Fold 2 can be the first device from Samsung Heaven in display selfie camera. This would actually make sense given that it is a luxury device with a very high price tag. It appears it's just not going to happen yet credible leaker Ice Universe is already advice on Twitter that Samsung is considering this technology for debut in the S21, he advises that Samsung is currently evaluating its feasibility for the S21. This is no way it can be ready in time for the Galaxy Fold 2, the day, whether the whole industry has been experiencing delays due to the current outbreak, was still expecting mass production to begin mid-May commercial units should be ready by June, when you speculating that Samsung Galaxy Folds 2 can be releasing alongside the Note 20 in August, so it's not too much longer, until we find out we have plenty of other concepts of the device from people, such as on leaks and concept creator, and they all look incredible. The future of folding phones is looking very promising, and the Galaxy Fold 2 has can be in a similar form factor as the original Fold, but it's going to be even more premium. A patent was previously filed by Samsung, and it reveals an affordable device with a slightly different form factor than the original Fold. It's more of a Galaxy tablet with the following form factor with this design. We get a much larger display and a better aspect ratio for both media and gaming. The person also reveals a full-screen display when unfolded. So this is where the rumors of the in-display camera originally came from. Of course, while in-display cameras do seem very unlikely at this time it's not impossible, and nothing's been confirmed tablet with portability, which reportedly can be designed to fit comfortably in pockets, but still provide a large enough display the Galaxy for 2 can supposedly be used in the form of a mini laptop. Bursting the bottom on the surface and folding up the top. We then have a display on top with the keyboard on the bottom. Previous reports were also stating that Samsung was switching to using ultra-thin glass, instead of the transparent polyamide will use to in this class was said to be capable of using an Aspen, now this is where the confusion originally came from. These reports were published prior to the launch of the Z Flip, we had less information about the ultra-thin class. We now know that in its current form. It's not able to support an Aspen, so I advise to disregard these rumors when it comes to the hardware, and specification will course will get the 512 gigs of internal storage. This will of course be us 3. We expect this to be coupled with 16 gigs of RAM, and it's, of course, can use the new Snapdragon 865, will likely get some decent cameras about media, it can be the main target audience, rather than photography, a large device is not the best choice for portable camera department doesn't confirm that this is the Galaxy Fold 2, with this is ever going to make it to market, but it does seem a very sensible design that could take off, if it does we know that despite their initial issue, Samsung is continuing to push affordable devices we've already had the launch of the new W20, as well as the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip with each release there, improving the issues they face never coming much more durable products. Unfortunately, being a luxury product. 
It also means it is going to come with a luxury price tag over the price of the new Galaxy Fold 2 is still very much unknown, with the launch expected to be July or August. It's not can be long until we do get some information. As always, I'll be sharing it with you as it comes in both like to know your thoughts, and the comments were that once a Galaxy Folds 2 what you think of this new design.